If I came to somebody 25 years ago and said, there's an island called Turks and Caicos and I genuinely believe more people will go to it over the next 25 years and we bought a property, everybody would be happy. Gary V. I remember a meeting that we had at one point where you came to us and said, you know, you would bring new channels to us, for example, and when Pinterest, and you talked to us about Pinterest, and one time you came and you said you guys got to figure out Snapchat. You've got to be on Snapchat. It's the future, and at that point, it was just something that my that my kids did, and I and I couldn't figure it out. What what's What's next and what's new in that space that we should be looking at? It's interesting, Trish. Even in that, it's very rare, very rare, though I'm a human and I'm sure I slip up, but I would argue if we had film of me bringing up Snap at the time, that it was more likely that I didn't refer to it as the future and I never predict. I'm just completely obsessed with right now. What I know right this second, as we sit here and everybody watching around the world, that LinkedIn and TikTok are the two platforms that give you organic reach. If you do not pay media, if you're a nobody, and you post on either one of those two platforms, something great can happen that cannot happen outside of a miracle point zero 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 one percent chance on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Those things always fascinate me because I love underpriced real estate, you know? If I came to somebody 25 years ago and said, there's an island called Turks and Caicos and I genuinely believe more people will go to it over the next 25 years and we bought a property, everybody would be happy. So I spend all my time on two core things. One, underpriced organic reach, which often is more at a small entrepreneurial SMB level. At the corporate level, they're important because I want companies to get the reps of understanding the nuances that are making this platform pop. And understanding LinkedIn today is very different than all of us understanding it four years ago. It's a completely different beast. LinkedIn today acts much more like Facebook did six years ago than it does with the LinkedIn that we all grew up using, which was a tool, not a content platform. Um, The things I'm learning on TikTok now will matter because those are getting instilled into 12 and 19 year olds right now and those will become nuances that quite matter in communication in three, five, seven, nine years. Obviously, Chase is less likely to be obsessed with understanding TikTok in comparison to Vans or in comparison to Mattel, right? So you you think about all those things, but I don't know what's next. What I do know is that I'm incredibly good at understanding as a human, subjectively, intuitively, of what seems to be current and then I put a ton of disciplined and work ethic and dollars and effort into proving those hypotheses to be true or false.